Hello and welcome to Skyrim. Me and my trusty followers are at the border to Cyrodiil and the county of Bruma. We just came from uh, Whiterun, all over here and ridden up to the pass and we're going to enter the county of Bruma in a minute. It's already late in the evening because we had quite a bit of a ride. We came all the way down there from uh, uh, Winter uh, Windhelm as I told you. So you can see here Windhelm. If you want to go into the county of Bruma you need to go past Helgen and then past the fort and here is the Pale Pass. So this uh, Bruma extension mold has been out for about a month now and uh, it's only available for the uh, original Skyrim and I had to completely reinstall my Skyrim because uh, it would crash all the time and even then I had to apply several crash fixes I really hope now it will be playing fine without crashes but no guarantees Let me introduce you to my followers, this is Sijin Still here uh, she used to be a Stormcloak, but I uh, convinced her to, uh, to come along on my adventures. She's Read wearing on. she's wearing a colloquial armor, fur armor, that is actually from the county of Bruma, because I went into the country myself without my followers first, just as a bit of a scouting mission. And then on the left here we have Cherry, or Cherwidden. I'm right behind you. She is a mage, she studied at the College of Winterhold and she is a healer, so I find that very practical to have her with me, so I do not have to you uh, need? I'll follow. have to worry about <laughs> potions and uh, my health, so Legs she will take care of that. I'll be coming down with hell joint. What's that my friend? Who's talking? Okay, let's, in, let's have a word with the guards. If you arrive here for the first time, they don't grant yes, you. Yes, you're cleared to enter Cyrodiil. They Feel don't. Free to head through. They don't grant you access, but because I already been in here, and uh, I've told mm -hmm. him the reason why I was one uh, willing to go into Bruma is uh, that I uh, was a member of Long. the Imperial Army, which was not true, but but he, but he took it. Another good reason to get entrance is to be Dragonborn, but I did not want to do that because I finally wanted to play Skyrim without dragons. So, let's see. Where are my followers? Well, Sijin is mining, but I think she will come. Let's go, it's already late. Let's see if we can get to the county, the city of Bruma before nightfall. Yes, yes, you're cleared to enter Cyrodiil. Feel free to head through. Now then, everybody made it through the gate. Unfortunately, I could not bring my horses for my followers. Because whatever I tried with uh, amazing follower tweaks and convenient horses, there are still no patches, uh, so follower horses cannot be used in Cyrodiil. Hopefully Hello. that will be possible someday. Come on, Cherry, we're not gonna mine. We're gonna have to ride all the way to Bruma and you have to walk. Now on the right side we are passing a fort where uh, the soldiers uh, live that uh, guard the pass into uh, Cyrodiil and Bruma. I'm not going to visit that right now, we'll be in for some other time. So as you can see I uh, used horse armor and I used uh, a customized uh, uh, weapons which were made by Jesus. And this is a uh, long blade, which makes it possible for me to hit wolves without dismounting. That is, if I am quick, uh, quickly enough, because otherwise my followers will take care of it. Get him, Cherry. Good girl. See, she's a mage. She uses all kinds of spells. These are sparks, but she has also has the frost and. Um, well, lots of other spells, you'll see what happens. Our hero, our hero claims a warrior's heart. Oh lord, that's gonna be stuck in my head all day. <laughs> she likes to sing a lot, 
and tell stories about their life in the College of Winterhold, so you'll hear that. Alright, let's go then. So you'll see uh, high up on the pass there's a lot of snow, it's completely set in winter, but down in the valleys it's summer. Hard to believe when you ride up here. There is an inn here to the left. You can use that, but I like to uh, travel on and uh, visit the Bruma and stay in the inn there. Now I think uh, the team that uh, made this extension mod did an excellent job. Which I will talk about as soon as I got rid of this last wolf, hopefully. <laughs> Because they are trying to attempt to uh, recreate the entire Oblivion area that was used in the Oblivion game. Oh my god, there's more baddies. Come on girls, this is going to be interesting. Help me! That's one, where's the other? What are you doing? Trying to attack my horse? That must have hurt. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's what you get when you attack me and my horse. Let's see, what does he have? More Golovian armor. No, nothing interesting here. You see? Spell slinger. Dragger. It's a mage hood. Well, I think I will only take your soul gem. The rest you can keep. I'm going to uh, quick save uh, frequently because un although I have been taking great care in trying uh, to do everything I can so there will be no crashes, it's not guaranteed it won't happen. And the uh, crashing behavior does not have to do with the fact that this mod was bait uh, badly, but because Skyrim is just not capable of uh, using large objects because of memory constraints and that is not an issue at, in the area where we are now but when we enter Bruma, the city of Bruma there are some very big buildings there and they can be a problem but as I said I uh, applied memory patches crash fixes whatever was needed I really feel sorry for the girls, they have to walk now. They were used to riding horses in Skyrim all the time. May Lord Donbliss give us his blessing this day so that we might do his will. Thank you, May Jerry. May watch over us and protect us as we are all his children. Now that behind this statue here, you can have a look down into the county of uh, Bruma and then in the distance there, you can see the imperial city that was uh, the main hub in Oblivion. And over there, where the cross is now, my crosshair is, there is the city of Bruma and we are heading to that. Just for the sake of it, another quickie save. I installed uh, Winter is Coming cloak, so me and my followers all have the fur cloaks and hoods that come with that. As you can see you need it in this part of the of the Bruma map. Passing all sorts of interesting uh, spots to visit and discover, but I want to do that by using the quests in the game. So let's see where the quest leads us and not investigate it on our own. Hello, Mr. Fox. He's heading in the same direction. There's the watchtower of the city of Bruma, so we're close now. Ok, 
can still hear my followers run behind me, so they are still following. an abundance of foxes here another one and then finally here to the right is the sign that says Bruma so we're almost there then let's ride up there and see if there's room for us in the inn I'm not gonna call talk to the Khajiit yet might do that some other time Tell us stories before bedtime. Yeah, Jerry is reminiscing about the, the Mage College again. This is the tower we saw from above there by the statue. I timed it so that we arrive in the in the night here in the night time. I like that. You see the stars up above there. go adventuring and exploring the city of Bruma in the morning and it is light and then there it is the gates of the city of Bruma which is located in the county of Bruma Well, let's see if there is room for us in the inn. So you can already see there are some pretty large buildings here. On the left there is the cathedral. And the count's fort. Up ahead. Those are all very large buildings, which Skyrim is struggling a bit with. So, best thing we do now is make another save. And then conveniently the inn is right up in front of us here, up the stairs. It's called the Gerald View Inn. Greetings, I'm Ambri, Ambri the Bard. In the mood for a song? Remember, a life full of adventure is the only life worth living. Some Greetings, wise words. I'm Ambri, Ambri the Bard. In the mood for a song? Uh, not Stranger, really. Stranger, have you seen my dad? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm really sorry. I installed a mod that mm -hmm. makes it so that bars Damn only it. sing upon request. Owner. How dare he allow that lizard to engage in such a salacious display? S scandalous! Greetings, I'm Ambri. Ambri the Bard. Some interesting characters here. In mead, ale, water. What will it be? Well, I'd like a room, please. Ah. You did well to choose the Gerald View. Thank you. Your room rental also includes complimentary access to the Gerald View bathhouse on the lower floor. Okay. Peruse it at your leisure. Our customers find it very rejuvenating. Well, I'll we'll have a look at it then. just here. Come, let me show you. I'm coming. Can I help you? Uh, no, not yet, because we're going to our room first. Yes. Ooh, he disappeared. <laughs> that was interesting. If you want food or drink, I can show you our menu. Uh, Printed not on only the finest parchment. Not yet at the moment. And I think we're just tired and want we want to go to bed. Have a good night's sleep. See, uh, Jerry has the has her own set of clothes that she chooses uh, upon uh, the occasion, and uh, you can give her uh, her own clothes of. Uh, Close you wish, but I, I like to keep it the way it is, so she changes it upon the uh, occasion. This might be a good moment to have a bit of a look at my own character here. Let me take off the hood. Uh, maybe even also the cloak. I'm wearing uh, a uh, an armor that is inspired on uh, the uh, Bosmer armor. 
and uh, it came with a mod that is called the Divine Elegance Store, and I think they made a pretty pretty nice armor about for for this. Uh, I'm also using Bosmore arrows and Bosmore bow, and then the the Jesus uh, swords, of which uh, uh, Nocheria has no weapons, but uh, Shijin has one of the swords of Jesus Jesus two. He's not calling Jesus, but Jesus. Alright, let's have a sleep and then we're gonna f uh, start exploring Bruma in the morning. Good morning, girls. Did you have a good sleep? Let's go and visit the city of Bruma. Oh, there's some other visitors here. I don't feel like going to the bathhouse just yet, so we'll skip that and just he head up in the city. Good morning. Oh, everybody's still asleep, so we'll be the first to see the city then. It's gonna be empty. Coming, girls! I think it would be a good uh, idea to say hello to the Count of uh, Bruma first and then uh, wander around a bit. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother, it's just that my most prized possession has gone missing and I fear that without help I'll never get it back. I normally wouldn't approach a stranger like this, but well, I'm at the end of my tether, I could really use some help. Could I hire you? I could pay you handsomely. Uh, I'd like to I... get more information. Okay, give me a moment to compose myself. There is a priceless heirloom in my family that has been passed down throughout nearly my entire ancestry. As you may know, we Dunmer revere our ancestors greatly. Ancestry is incredibly important to our people. Therefore, you understand how important it is to me that my heirloom is returned. I am... Oh, my apologies, friend. This theft has left me quite flustered. Well, who am I to say no, so I'll help you. Excellent, thank you. You're the welcome. The heirloom has been stolen, well, by all accounts, the thief fled to the northeast of Bruma. I suspect they're holed up in Frozen Grotto. If you are able to retrieve my heirloom for me, I'll be forever in your debt. You're welcome. We could do that, I guess. Now let's see where that is, because it might be quite, uh, quite far from us here. There is Frozen Grotto, and I think Bruma is here, the city. So I don't think we're gonna do that just yet, but we'll keep it in our quest list. Well, like I said, I think it's time to have a war word with the Count. You should at least know that we are in town here. Where's the girls? Did they take another route? Followers sometimes do whatever they like. <laughs> what happened here? Cherry? Shijin? What are these girls doing? Oh. Told you, this way. <laughs> Interesting. I do have amazing follower tweaks enabled, so. But that, that is working here, except then for the horses, that does not work. Horses for followers, that is. Where is uh, Cherry? Oh. There she is. Alright then, everybody, come on. We have an appointment with the, with the Count. Let's hope he's awake already. It's quite early. Oh then, let's see. I don't think the Jarl is up yet. It's a bit early. So that might give us a bit of an op opportunity to uh, discover the, where, he lives, where he's living. It's looking big and ornate. He's definitely an imperialist. Judging by the banners.
Oh, he's having a dinner here in the morning. That's why he's here. That's Is it just me, or do very few people live in Skyrim? Uh, Have in they Sky fled because of the dragons and not yet returned? There are no dragons in Bruma, as far as I can tell, Cherry, so that's probably why there are lots of people here. Look! <laughs> Sir? Yeah, I'd like to speak to the Count, but it seems that we are a bit early. Can we have uh, some dinner? Or uh, breakfast? I may serve Count Carbang, but I take command from the Guard Captain. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can find a chair to sit. Oh look! An infant! How quaint! Excuse me? Is he talking to me? <sighs> Is there something I can do for you? Oh, my Hello me. there. I'd like to talk to the assistant of the Count. He's probably uh, having Hello. his dinner here too. I am Afana Adichie. I think I'm it's better to wait here court. in the hall until Rather they're finished eating. It, it wouldn't be rude to interrupt him while he's at his breakfast. He you knows it. So let's wait for an hour and see if he's done then. I really miss my friends from home. <clears throat> He has tall more friends, that's for sure. Hmm. I don't believe I've seen you before. Uh, no. Fascinating. I don't you think I want to be Bruma, talking to you. We have here? Ah, there is the count. Finally finished his breakfast. Let's talk to his assistant first. I'm the Count Stewart here in Pruma. If there is anything you need, I'll try my best to help you. Can you tell me about, uh... The county of Bruma. County Bruma is the jewel of Cyrodiil. Though the mountains may be frosty, the hearts of our people are as warm as the brightest hearth. Of course, that's not to say that she's perfect. As with any county, we have our fair share of vicious wildlife and shameless brigands. But we don't let that put a dampener on things. That's the Nord way, after all. And Bruma's as Nordic as she is imperial. I'm looking for bounties. Got any leads? There are threats popping up constantly. Here, take a look at this bounty decree for details. Kill goblin leader at Silver Tooth Cave. That will be interesting to see where that is. Oh, that's quite far up. Oh, that's Frozen Grotto. Oh, no. I don't think we're gonna do that just yet. Bye. Let's talk to the Count. Is that... do you need something? Tell me about yourself. I am De Silas Carvain. I have the singular honor of acting as Count of Bruma, defending her walls and ruling over her people. I am young, and I know some use this as ammunition with which to criticize me. But they are short-sighted, and they are foolish. I act in the best interest of Bruma at all times. I will always fight valiantly to defend her from threats both within and without. That is what matters. How does Bruma well fare? enough, I suppose. The Great War mostly spared Bruma. Thank the Divines for that. Most of Cyrodiil didn't have such good fortune. Any troubles? Not particularly, no. I certainly don't envy my friends across the border in Skyrim, though. These are truly dark times for the Empire. Let us hope that this storm blows over, as of all the rest. But something makes me think this one's different. I fear Tamriel will never be the same again. If it's work you seek, speak with my Viscount, Marcius Carvain. He's more likely to have work for you than I. He spends most of his time in the castle. I just did talk to him. Okay. Well, I could ask him what it's like being a Count of Bruma. It's, uh... Complicated task, let's put it that way. On the one hand, there are the Imperials. On the other, there are the Nords. And then, there are the other cultures to contend with as well. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the Stormcloak Uprising in Skyrim has... complicated things, to a certain extent. But yeah. I'm proud to serve Bruma, and her people. We better not tell him then that Sijin was a Stormcloak. <clears throat> Bye. Probably not going to like that. Okay, well, I think we're going to have to look a bit around Hello. town.
must say he lives in a very nice castle. Let's see uh, what's going on in the rest of the town. Guard Captain Adius Vilius, I urge are, you to listen to reason. Those are the tall The Thalmor's authority extends across the entire empire. Druma is no exception. I know it's not, but we're not defying your precious concordat, are we? There's no Talos worship here. No. Perhaps not. That but something to must be done about that little Martin worshipping cult in the chapel. The chapel of St. Martin? There's no Talos worship going on in there. No, but there is still man worship taking place. Martin was a man, not a god. The spirit of the Concordat. There you go again with that spirit of the Concordant nonsense. As guard captain of Bruma, I have the authority here, not you. I will comply with the Thalmor as much as what is necessary. Is but I am not going to go arrest innocents. The Concordant doesn't explicitly Hello. force me to. Vilius, I I urge you. Don't you think we better not intervene Enough with this? Armin. Don't want to have anything to do with the Thalmor, please. The so, let's not do that. The of the but it's nice to hear there is a chapel here of St. Martin. It's dead up there. We've got to investigate that sometime. Well, as you can see, all NPCs have custom armors that only feature here in Cyrodiil. There are all different voices here, no Skyrim voices at all. And there is also special music, as you already heard. That's the town's blacksmith, and we're gonna have a little work with him. After that he has entered, of course. What is it? Well... I'm just gonna have a bit of a word, if that's okay with you, and have a look around. Blacksmithing takes a lot of time and effort to master, but the results speak for themselves. This place seems to be quite well decorated for a smithy. Ah, glad to see you noticed. Do. These furnishings don't come cheap. Probably not. How much does it cost you? No, I'm not gonna ask him that. I, I've honed my craft for years. I may not be Orland Greymane, but then again, this ain't Skyrim. How is business? Relatively good, as of late, I'd say. Hostilities are boiling under the surface here in Cyrodiil. I've been for a while. No one dares make the first move, but everyone's waiting for it with bated breath. That means they're arming themselves in preparation for rainy days to come. And that means customers for blacksmiths such as myself. Not to sound like a war profiteer, of course. Why would people be arming themselves if no one is making a move? Sure, they're not walking around in armor with swords in their scabbards all the time. But people are keeping a weapon handy a lot more these days. Never know when you'll need to defend yourself from a party of Dalmor Justiciers. Uh, don't tell Armin I said that. Don't I worry. know a storm is on the horizon. And soon enough there, all of our lives are about to become a lot more dangerous. They want to be prepared. Okay. Hmm. Who is it you're complaining about? His name is Renard Eventond. Damned fool apparently thinks he's the divine's gift to singing. Ah, oh, you mean the bard? He's terrible. Yeah. And he's loud. Yeah. You can hear his terrible performances from the streets. I heard that. It's getting very irritating. Yeah. The beggar Ronte has shown a particular interest in getting Renard to shut up for some reason. You could go speak with him. Perhaps he'd even pay you. Uh, well, we could do that, but I got bit, a bit of a better idea. I installed a mod that silences bots. That's a lot more effective. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Here's Holgard's shop, the Northern Arms. He works. About me? Uh, not really much to tell. Oh. I really enjoyed my studies at the temple. Farewell. Okay. It encouraged us to learn about the world so that we might better serve Lord Donald. She's talking about the college again. Uh, don't be rude, girls. We haven't asked permission to use his smithy yet, so let's go. Now then, let's have a bit of a walk around town. It's a small town. Lots of houses here. Let's 
this. The room has seen it conclave. I don't think we're gonna talk to them yet. Fighters Guild, that's interesting. This. Somebody's house. My dad is our best stranger. Yes. Have you seen name? my dad? No, but I did hear you ask for your dad, so I came and looked for you, and I want to ask you, where did you see him last? Dad's a soldier in the Legion. He's always off with them, serving at some fort up in the mountains. He's in the Legion? That's what my mom told me. She told me that her dad was in the Legion, too. Right. What does he look He's like? He's big and tall, with yellow hair. Okay. Where's your mother? She works at the Duralview Inn. Oh. I don't think she likes it there, but she says she has to make ends meet. Whatever well, that means. Who's end? And why does he need meat in the first place? What's her name? Lucinia Ironheart. She told me ah. that she used to be called Lucinia Prelius, but then she married Dad. Right. Good. Well, we Goodbye. better go and have a word with her then. We just uh, stayed there in the, in, the, in the inn. What is it? Can I help you? Uh, not really. Can I help you? They're all so friendly here, they all want to help. Let's talk to the mother of the little girl. That is, if we can find her. Because that's the Bard. I think she's here. Hello. Come, warm yourself by the heart. No, 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 no. Welcome to the Gerald View. No, that's not Lucinia. Where is she? The Gerald View. Oh, she's we behind have drinks, the counter. Beds and food. Hello. Which do you need? Any? What is it? Are you Alina's? El yeah, Alinia's mother. She asked me to find your husband. Oh, that girl. I hope she hasn't been too much trouble. Yes, yeah, she's mine in Heron's. Well, used to be at any rate. Recently, she's just been mine. What happened to your husband? He was stationed at Fort Pale Pass, but right. we haven't heard anything for months. None of the soldiers passing through here on leave have seen him either. Right. I've sent letter after letter, but they still haven't told me anything. I have no idea where he is, what, what? happened to him, or if he's even like still alive. I the limits, well, Fort Pale Pass, the I've Imperial been there. Fort placed right on the border to Skyrim. Exactly. Mostly waters for illegal border Today crossing. Illegal? Yesterday, we came in through that pass. It, uh, Have you tried to contact him yes, directly? Yes, many times. I've sent letter after letter, but heard nothing. I'm sorry, I can send as many letters as I want, so but if Heron isn't even at the fort, then he's hardly going to see them, is he? Well, I could look for him. You would? Sure. I'd be indebted to you if you did, stranger. Like I said, yes, he is, right. was, garrisoned up at Fort Pale Pass. It's right on the border to Skyrim. Good luck. And please, stranger, I beg of you, find my Heron. I find your Heron. was quite an agreeable no problem. venue. So, what can I play for you? Stand uh, the bar? The bar, oh, the bar is not going to I keep the view running. Greetings, I'm Ombre. I'm the Bard. I'm not Can gonna let you sing song? today. I'm so sorry about that. Come on, girls. We gotta find this girl's father. He's up at the poor Fort Pale Pass, so we know where that is. We came in through that pass. Well, that will be an adventure for uh, another episode. If you like this, let me know. I would like to make this into kind of a let's play. That is, as long as uh, the mod is uh, not going to crash upon me too many times. So, for now it seems to be okay. Uh, I uh, thank you uh, for watching. And, um, well, I would like uh, to uh, make another 
episode and wow. hopefully see you there and then <laughs> what brings you to my stall no my girl's gonna say soon. goodbye to you my and uh, hope to see you another time okay so have a good day bye